Hello, and thank you for coming to my channel. I'm speaking very quietly because I don't want to uh, wake up my roommate. And here we are with a, it's called Geography of Mauritania Map on Wiki Commons. And I can't believe that I haven't found the original. I had a smaller version of this. It was about that big, so I didn't really see the detail that this thing has. I've been looking for it. First of all, let's take a look at the meters high. And let's take a look and see who's watching us right now. I don't have a very good... Oh, that's a really terrible thumbnail. Looking for it. First of all, let's take a look at the meters. Okay, there we go. Thank you for viewing. Okay, so 700 meters at the top. 600 is here, 500 is here. That's kind of a gray, dark gray. That's, what a color do you call that? A sienna? A burnt sienna? Maybe, uh, yeah, burnt sienna, I think. And then that's 400 meters high. And then down below, you've got kind of a, what color do you call that? The sunset, sunset yellow? And that's 300 meters, and then it gets a little lighter, 200. This is like the sunset, and then it gets into greens. And when it hits green, you're almost at zero. So 100 meters is actually a little bit of green. So that's 100 meters. That's like almost sea level. Let's say instead of sea level, let's say 10, 20, 30 feet. Look at the difference. You've got a teal color here. And you've got a green color here. So that's green. Where's the teal? The teal's right there. That's zero. That's swampland right there. And look, you can see, well, you can't see Morocco. You can see all of Western Sahara. So you can see the Atlas Mountains up here. And that's important, I think, because when you look at the Atlas Mountains, you can see the highest points. And do you realize this is actually higher than the Atlas Mountains? So look how white that is. You don't see that color of white up here. Yeah, that's very, very high right there, isn't it? That's a peak in the middle of nowhere. But up here, the Atlas Mountains, it's actually not as high. Hello there, Cesare Leone. Look at Richard saying some vlogs. What about the channel? Does it really go to sea? Well, hey, let's talk about that. It's a great idea. Because I want to talk about that. Look at this. This has rivers here. That's a river. Okay. That is a, it shows a blue dotted line. So maybe it's not really a running river like the Nile. But what it is is when it rains really hard in the mountains, you get a river. Now, we can't see that on the maps. We, we, I should probably open it up. And I did, I don't want to go too weird here. Let's, what's going on here? Well, that's it. Hide. Okay, that's my hangouts. I, I'll go here. And I have a new map right there. And I'll just go and take a look and see what real life looks like. I think I can actually hear my roommate uh, getting angry. So I might have to shut this down if she starts banging on my door. Although, I don't think I'm that loud. I'm in Taiwan. I'm just backing out. Going back to that, let's come here. So looking at this, you can see a couple of existing rivers that I did not know. Let's talk about it a little more. First of all, I want to say right now, I had no idea that was so low. I didn't examine it well enough. Now I know there's a river here. This river's got three dams going across it. And then here we can see some type of a river here, and you can see the line of an ancient river going straight south. And those are important because there's no other way that would have gotten put in the land. Now, you can see some up here, the ancient Lake Maghreb. There's actually a river that goes towards the ocean this way. So it's it may or may not have water. But this is the ancient lake up here. And then this is the river. This is the dry river bed right there. It looks like it's the beginning of a mountain, but it's not that high. I'm only going to look at this one picture. It does look like Mars. I've lived in the desert. Look at these existing rivers here. There's an outlet right there. This is the Morocco Atlas Mountains, or the Minor Atlas Mountains. 
this gets very low right there. So it gets low very quickly right there. Actually, that, that's quite low. Is that a lake? No, that's just super low. And Nakshat is the same way, right? Nakshat is a dark teal. Is that teal? That's teal. Okay, but I do want to say that I now understand that that area there, which we were looking at those canals, we were looking at canals going right across here. So if that's a canal, maybe that's one of the dams. Maybe that's an ancient dam, or maybe that's even a more recent dam they put. That dam is covered with sand. So maybe now that I understand that's lower than here, this is higher, and this is really high. This is mountains. This is 500, almost 600 meters. OK, I'm having failure with my device holder. Sorry about that. Get back in here. I only have one major commenter. Thank you for your thumbs up. Okay, so as you can see, here's the eye of the Rashad. That's quite low. We can see the super yellow, the area that's 300. We can take another look at that. It's actually quite not, not as bright. So this area is not so bright. That's 300, 400 feet. And when it gets a little brighter, it's almost 200. And then when it gets super light, it's less than 200. If we see green, it's almost 100. There's no green in here. We don't see any green. We see the ridges of basically this is, I have to look at it again, the brown. The brown is almost 500. So the brown is 500 feet. So these rings are quite high. And you can see here, this is super high. These are cliffs. These are cliffs. And you have actually maybe water running from this little mountain, maybe going this way, maybe coming this way. You seem to have it going across, which is impossible, right? So uh, maybe it's an ancient riverway that went through there. But uh, the Taman Maset River would have gone out this way. So maybe this is more of the Taman Maset. However, there were some capillaries that went this way and if you follow this this is a like a river coming all the way from the ancient lake Maghreb and there's some kind of weird three striation thing happening here and one of them has a river right in it yeah I know about Indy I know about Indy archaeology um, but unfortunately he didn't really he went around here but he didn't really go all crazy I wanted him to see this now I'm not so excited but I want to know what these canals things are and there's obviously natural rivers here uh, we know now from my last video that there's a natural river that flows right there so I don't think you have running water but when there is rain it's going to flow this way and you can see that in the the Bing map. You can see this arcing that way, so the Taman Reset kind of comes from here as well. It's a river basin, so it comes from many different directions. And when you follow this natural line down straight south, you can't go through here. That's, I mean, maybe you can get out there. I, I doubt it, but maybe it's possible to get through there. I doubt it. Look at that. It just seems like it's impenetrable. And maybe that's something that's new and in Atlantis time, there was a river going right through here. But I kind of feel that it must have gone this way. It must have gone right through here. And if there was a river, it would have gone here. Or, But why not just meet this existing river that goes down here and maybe follow this line here? What's a ballast rock? Is that like... Um, is that, is that like a, the harder part down below? Is that like bedrock? Ballast rock is bedrock? Okay, so I don't want to talk about this too much. I'm going to actually try to still give you a, a look at some of this here. I mean, there may have even been some type of a river here once. And I look at this weird sand here, and it's it's got some weird levels. You can see it how it's weird like it looks like stucco and then what is that that must have been maybe one of the lakes or a lake that's not even Mauritania anymore I believe this is the ancient Lake Maghreb right here 
and there was a river going this way right there, going straight to the ocean a long time ago. Now you have this river here that shows actual water, and there was a river coming from it this way, and you can see that in my other videos. It lines up perfectly with the, the rock lines. So I was really happy to find this map, and you can see here that's 400 kilometers, so two of these is over 400 kilometers, so from this to here is 400 kilometers, and from here to Nakshat is another, that's like 800 kilometers, that's why Indy architecture didn't really go, he went up into the circle, I thought he did. And let's talk about uh, World Alternative Media. He went to Nagshad. I don't think he, he was in the center, but that I didn't see any other video from him. But I know it must be difficult. I can't really get too angry at these guys, but um, I do think that it's important. Well, I agree that Atlantis is not just here. Let's go back to my regular map. Here's the world. And... I do have new Google Earth on my computer, but it just doesn't work very well. So uh, we can zoom in here and take a look at that one thing. But I do want to mention that I, I don't believe that the concentric circles really represent. We're going to look at a few pictures that I put on my... Do I have any pornography on anything? No, I, I was grabbing some pictures of Jenny Kimmel for some reason, some other stuff. That's my old thumbnail from my last video. I do want to talk about sprites. I'd be curious if anybody knows what a sprite is. We have different things that happen. Elves, sprites, blue jets, and then the regular lightning is down here. But uh, I won't talk about that today. I did want to grab some pictures, cute baby um, ley lines, energy ley lines. Okay, where's that one picture? These are megalithic structures around Africa and okay I did, what happened I lost it now I'm angry okay here's another thing I want to show you I thought I was going to solve my problem where is that did I get it I did get it it's right here I did want to mention that uh, the hangout on air will actually not be available soon so what I'm doing right now, I can't do it anymore. Yeah, Wham didn't really get in there, did he? He just went over to um, Oadane, and he went to the ruins there. And that was kind of too bad, wasn't it? He had the opportunity. Okay, see? There's this. Look at this. These are megalithic stones on the third pyramid. That's the third pyramid. So you have the Giza, you have the bigger two, and then you've got this one. But what I didn't realize is these megalithic stones here look just like Peru, don't they? And I have to be honest, I really need to start looking at the pyramids a little closer. I really need to, because uh, the, I think this might be the oldest pyramid. And I was listening to Dr. Charles Koss talk about this today. And the amazing thing, but you can tell that these blocks are, are not really polygonal or polygonal. Today? What do you mean today? You were at the Rashad today? Or you mean in contemporary times today? There are trees everywhere. There's bushes and trees. Yeah, and there's mountains. I mean, there's green stuff growing in the mountains. There's not, just not a lot of water there, so it doesn't grow as lush. This is the third largest pyramid. I'm sorry. It's not the third largest pyramid. It's the third pyramid of the three at Giza. At Necropolis. Okay, let's see what else I had ready for you. I had some... Oops! I can't show you that, can I? I'll probably have to delete that. Yeah, and that reminds me. I uh, was using my grandfather's passport to uh, compare how old I was getting. So getting back to this, 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 where is it? No, now I'm lost. I guess I closed it. Getting back to this, I'm gonna finish this video up and then I'm gonna go take my passport off the internet. Um, oh, that's the one that I didn't want, see? This is the one that I didn't want. So what happened to the one I did want? I did I move it? 
I put it. In, see, I just reloaded my computer, so I guess it's it's over here in uh, downloads. Yes, that's strange. No, there it is. So there it is again. Look, it looks like a smile. There's a smile and a nose and an eye. Somebody's talking about some elephants over here. I, I didn't see those. Sorry, couldn't find them. I need coordinates. If you want me to look at something, give me coordinates. So here's the Senegal River. There is a kind of a small lake right around here somewhere. I think it's like over here. Maybe that's it. That has water like here. So these are lakes. But it used to be a little bigger down here. And it used to go straight up. It showed in these ancient maps it going straight up. And I think it was about here. And this, you can see the straight line right there. that kind of would have met these. Uh, I don't know how it's going to get over this part. So that's a question. And maybe there were canals. This is a good place to check right here. Because you can see the natural river flowing this way. Anyways, that's it. Whales? I don't know about whales. Where? Oh, I don't know where they found those whales. You know, that's another interesting topic. And I think that has to do with, you know, the whole whale thing really does uh, get me. Because I don't know about those whales. Anyways, I guess I better uh, log off and go clip off that uh, passport photo as soon as possible. Not like anybody's going to do any bad things with my passport number, but it's not really cool. I didn't want to show that. But I'm not going to delete this video. I'm just going to go digit. They have a little blur. You can blur it out. I'm going to go blur it. Anyways, there's another place that has... I don't know what they... Well, let's see if this says anything about the red line. It doesn't say anything about the dotted line. What's this? What's that? That's interesting. Well, that's an island in the middle of the Atlantic, the Canary Islands. And uh, you can see along here, it's it's swampland right there. And it's all just so low. You can see which And this part right here, this is like a dry lake bit. And you've got a river running right into it. This was an ancient river, probably here. But see, as we can see something, I'm learning something new here. So I am learning something new. This exit point is still coming from the north side. These mountains are just too high. So even though there is some lower areas here, if there was a river coming straight out here, it's long gone. And hey, look, there's a little ridge. Maybe it was right there. Maybe it went right out here, right through here, and then right through these mountains here. But look at that. That kind of stops that. These were found in Egypt. Oh, these. Uh, what does it say? Daily Mail? Science? Let me just click that open and see what that says. Um, and then I'll come back to you. What is this? Found in Egypt? Let me check that link. Live on the air, I'll check your link. It really does look like a face, doesn't it? The Whale's Graveyard. Desert where the ancient fossilized remains of nature's gentle giants lie on the floor of the lost ocean. Whales graveyard, desert. Where? This is, um. Yeah, now we gotta figure out exactly where it is, though. I guess I'm gonna scroll down. It says here the Sahara Desert. It mentions Egypt, Valley of the Whales, Wadi al Hitan. Where is that? Is that Egypt? Oh, Cairo, near Egypt. It's a nasty picture there. So there's quite a few. That looks like an elephant tooth. Okay, so that's in Egypt, the the article you just mentioned, which is fine by me. Um, I, I do want to know where the one that was shown by Bright Insight was, and I have that picture in my files, but I guess I could do a, a Google search. Maybe I'd find the original image that way. Well, guys, I didn't want to talk too long, and it's 1.30 in the morning here in Taipei. I am kind of worried that I'm waking up my roommate. I hear some bumping, so I think I'm going to cut this short. And uh, if you have any last-minute questions, go ahead and ask them, and I'll, uh, I'll wind this down very quickly. 
Yeah, 15 million years ago. That's quite, yeah, see, so 15 million years ago, everything was going on. Valley of the Whales, it means that the whales got into a valley. That's Egypt. I don't think we have whales over here. I think that was kind of a misleading thing. I'm not going to, I don't really talk about the whales because I personally don't believe that this was ever under sea level over here. I believe they're just rivers. I always talk about the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. If you look at this ridge, you can see that this point, it matches here. And this point matches right there. It's very equal. You can see this triation. It does bump up here. So when they slid that piece of pizza this way, they moved it over here and then they moved it back down. It's almost a straight line, right? It's almost a straight line. Oh, see, that bumping is upstairs. So that's the, that's the kid upstairs running around. Oh, that's better. I'm glad. And see, look at this one here. Look at that. This, this, uh, from here over to this, this point. So this is really hard bedrock right here. And this is really hard bedrock. And this, this was crumbs that fell off the pizza as it was moving across. Well, I'd like to find out if there's other uh, whales located in this part of the desert. I just don't think so. Maybe really close to the ocean. But I don't think that really has anything to do with the concentric circles here. The big thesis on the concentric circles is, were they connected to the ocean? I think we've proven that they, it's very possible they were through that map that I just... Where is it? Coming back soon here? Through this map, I think we can see... Well, I'm learning something new, that this river now is exiting from the north side of the eye. But look at that river pointing straight down, following this line here. Following it to a southern low point. I think you can, can say that water would have flown down to about here. And then maybe gone through these mountains. I don't think it's... I think this is a little too high. But, you know, that buildup, these mountains... These are pretty high mountains. I don't think that they're they're younger than 12,000 years. I would say the sand coming through here is younger than 12,000 years. I would say the water flowed right along here. Look at that, right along there. That's probably the way it went. There were probably canals too. I think we found a canal here, but now I'm learning that canal probably goes back down to the river, not down this way and here. Or maybe it's an old canal that used to go across through here. There's a point there that looks like it came through. That could be man-made. That little crevice. It's kind of a weird one, right? And this whole thing's kind of weird. That could have been a canal right there. And maybe that's a, a river or a canal right here. Maybe there was a little tiny little canal there. We should probably look right here. So let's take a look right there right now since I do have that open. First, we got to get it oriented. So let me look at that one more time. Find that over here. So this is basically, like, look at the eye right there. We're trying to find this part right there. And we can see the mountains come down here. There's a lot of sand there, and there's that river right there. So is this an ancient canal? Or is this an ancient river? And... Does it meet this and go over the mountain? With the mountains, right? The mountain is right. Let's take another look. The mountain is right there that I'm talking about. It's right below this three striations. Follow this one right here. There's a river going across. We were just looking at it. That was it. Whoops, not that. I should close that before I show my passport again. Whoops, not that. This. So, again, the mountain is right here so it looks like it's right there it looks like this is it right here that's the river right there and it's going up here now do we think we can find any canals what's that is that a canal is that a river right there so that's the best we can get is that an ancient pass through for water right there this might be it okay I have five viewers, but I did want to uh, cut this short. I didn't want to talk all night. Thank you for your comments, Joey.
and Cicerion. How do you pronounce it? Cicerion? Cicerillion. Yeah, the, the Egypt whale bones don't really do anything for me. I don't really believe this was covered in ocean. I think that's a that's not a um, a real valid theory. I believe that the rivers were the access waterways. And that looks like it could be one right here. It goes straight down to the ocean after that, right? Let's kind of back out. So it goes straight down from here. Once you exit that little spot there, you can go straight down. So these are some mountains here, right? Let's take another look. Yeah, so those are some really high mountains right there. Not too high, but it gets really high. So the question is that I think there might be a little canal right there you can't see there. Too pixelated. That's one of them. Shall we look at anything else? Uh, what about the uh, this thing here? Is it possible? Now, I'll show you the dams that I found. I mean, we had a third dam. A third dam. And it hits right in here. So what I just learned is that this is high mountain and this is high mountain here. But out here, this is not. This is lower. So I've learned something. My depth perception was all messed up. I looked at these things, and I thought that this edge was going higher. And now I know that these are all alluvial fans coming from this mountain here. So this is lower. And here you can see this river going through here. And there's a, like a little dam. It goes all the way down. We can follow it all the way down. I don't want to right now. But uh, we'll follow it back up. It's a dr pretty much a dry riverbed. Got some clouds. But when you uh, follow it up, let's get out here a little more. Where's that thing? It's up here. It's over here more, I think. Up here, you can start to see these dams going across. And this is a thing. Maybe my canal is really a dam because there's a dam there. It's been breached. That's this, I haven't talked about this one. Not even sure what they're doing. You know, where's the water coming from? If there's water, there's very little water. And it, it's coming very wide, so it's going across a very wide. This is almost one, two, three, four times 200, 800 kilometers long. Oh, sorry, 800 meters. Almost one kilometer wide. It's pretty long. Are they damming up a river in the middle of the desert? And then we can see another one here. That kid is thumping around upstairs. I feel no guilt right now for my talking. I'm about to start beating the ceiling with a broomstick or something. Okay, here's another one right there. That one is uh, about 300, uh, 600 kilometers. Hey, Oscar, how are you doing? Thank you for joining. And thank you for your thumbs up. So let's see, this is um, this is the second dam I found. And th this one doesn't have the modern day stuff. Is that the modern day thing? That was like, there's one uh, one more that has modern day. Maybe that's it. Maybe I missed it. I think there's one more down here that we missed. Must be up here. So there's three of them. And do you see how it kind of uh, walls it off and catches the water all the way? So this goes in more than just 600. It goes around here. It grabs over here too. This this is part of it right here. This 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 river here is flowing. So this is part of the dam right here. This is this is a, a huge kilometer long dam that's grabbing all of this water coming from the Sahara. Okay, I think there's one more dam up here. Let's see, did I get it? Did I miss it. I think it's way up here. No, I think that's it. So with that in mind, I'm coming to the conclusion that me, oh, here, this thing, what is this? Is that a dam also? What is that? See, at the time, I used to think that was a river between two mountains. But now I realize that's probably like a, a dam that was created. It's only, see, that's like 20, that's 250 meters wide. That's pretty big to be man-made. Maybe it's an ancient one. Who knows? You know, can't see it, but that could be a dam. So maybe maybe these are all ancient dams, and some of them are modern day. So here's the thing. So now we can go in here and see that 
that the thing, okay, kind of cuts around here. Better back out. Oh, by the way, where's that flow? So is that the river? This might be the river that flows through. See, we're looking here. We see it right there. That's probably it right there. You know what? I should put these side by side, and then we can take a better look at them. Wouldn't that be smart? So if I go here and look at it side by side, you can see this point here. This line is probably this river right there. So that river just cuts right through. And why? I think it's because this part here is higher than that part down there. I think it's going from south to north, in my opinion. That's going from south to north. But see, see, I'm wrong again. I'm looking now, and I realize this river is going across the mountains here. It's, see, here's this line here. We can see that here. That line right there, that's a, that could be a river line too, but this the water is going through here. Oh, I see, right down there. Ah, okay. See, again, this is it right here. That's the river that cut across. And it doesn't really cut across, does it? There might be, oh, there it is. It does cut across. So there it is coming out there. Very interesting. So I presume that that means that it flows south from here and it flows north from here. So this this river right here, this is just a, and it's not really a river. It's more of a waterway. Yeah, there it is right there. So there's that one. And this one over here, we could probably find that too. Maybe. You can see the three striations much more clearly in the topographical map. So let's see. This line here is our clear mountain way. And we follow it down to here. We can see that river is right there. And the river comes right through there. And then it fills with sand, right? Of course, if water was there, it would go. So the water flows right down here to the ocean. Well, into some mountains, actually, probably around those mountains. There you go. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Zero. Thank you for joining. By the way, if anybody isn't aware, Zero Channel, Zero, cha zero Control um, is the person who put up all the different Tumuli photos. Yeah, and this is new for me, and I'm learning new things about the, the, sila, the, the topography of this area here. I didn't realize that yellow was lower, Anthony. And so I've, now I realize that that the question is is do you think that these these rivers were altered by prehistoric civilizations or is that all recent? I mean that's pretty high right there. So it seems like that the water would have either come through here or gone around here or both. Anyways, let me just uh, see. I wanted to enlarge that. Yeah, that's it. it. Looks like a little dragon's face with a, a nose and a mouth smiling. And then you see these little rivers. So if the river goes here, what it does is it gets absorbed into the ground. It goes into aquifers. Okay, I'm going to uh, cut this short. I will, well, let me tell you something. There's going to be some gold in these hills for sure. You're talking about mines. I do believe you can get gold if you were able to mine here. That's probably what they're doing, is they're mining all sorts of stuff. There's gold in these hills, because this water, okay, you've got to find a place where the gold builds up. This, this sand has been moving across here for years and years, not just by water, but by wind as well. I think wind, you're not going to get gold. Wind, stuff that blows is not gold. But if you get the stuff that doesn't blow and builds up from streams, Inside a stream, even if it's a dry stream, you can find the areas where the gold could build up, going around curves, hitting certain types of sediment rocks, and also a little, well, if there's water, then anything, any holes in the, the river best can fill with gold. It's probably not going to be uh, on my agenda yet, but I'm thinking now, by the way, I didn't finish talking about that. I, I think now that we know this is really low, that my whole 
canal theory is kind of maybe out the window. Let's take a look. So yeah, this is a this is like a dry lake bed, and this my the canals are the so-called maybe they're dams. Maybe my depth perception is still off on this. Maybe that's a dam. But what is this? This is my question. And how old are these things? What is this? Is that a, that's not a dam. It's not looking like a dam. The water's going with the grain, not against it. This, you can see, it could be a dam. I thought these were, this was like a canal or some type, but that's a dam. Maybe an ancient dam built up to grab water. And then, again, we have these things. So this is the high. This is the mountain here. Okay, this is the river leaving the mountain. And we have a... Uh, so this is the mountain right here. Now I know. So somebody tell Michelle to watch this video because I think we really have to understand that when we when we look at this, that the the lower point is here. This is like 200. Let's take a look. That's 200 feet, and then the high part, the white part's 500, but the brown part is 500. So when we go in there, we realize now that this is super low. I can't tell that. Somebody was correcting me. I'm like, really? So this is the mountain, and that's a cliff going down. So this is the top of the mountain, and then that's the cliff, and that's a river running down, dry river. So you follow that down, you can see this goes in and hits the edge of the mountain and stops. So this could be a dam created to catch water. But what's this over here? I have no idea. And what's this over here? Is that a dam? Is that part of the dam to catch water? And it's breaching everywhere. And then you've got the real, that's, this is not the, this is the mountain over here. So what's with this circular mountain? Why is that mountain so circular? And by the way, uh, if you look at this, you can see it turns white. So we're, we're seeing that this, this is, this part here is like almost 500 feet, 500 meters, 500 meters. Uh, this part right here is like 400 and then this is the 200. So right there. That's going to be going down here. So it's, it's definitely opening my eyes. And I have been using Google Earth on my phone. It actually works. So I'll be playing with that a little bit. But now we know I made some mistakes in my original looking at this topography. It's kind of straightened me out. And uh, somebody even, I got an argument with somebody about this. But um, these that was a, a lake bed right there. A small one, you know, or a, it's not really a lake bed, but like a riverway, a waterway. And you can see the, I guess this is created by, this is water going down, and this is water going across. That's wind, right? The horizontal lines are wind, and the water's going vertically are uh, water. So now that I have a better grasp of the topography after all these months it's time to start thinking about what that means for my theory that there were canals here i don't want to be reporting stuff i don't believe guys it was great to see you thank you for visiting we have currently how many viewers uh three that's not very many so it's gone down um, but i i have to be honest uh, this channel and I do want to mention again, I should always say this in the beginning, but I'm too slow. I'm too, I'm too busy thinking about other things. I did write some books and I will give 